What is up guys, here we are with another truck from Mix 7, and it's none other than the Inverse Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Alright, so the Inverse trucks, these are pretty cool, I have to admit, it is pretty cool i like the idea i like the concept i think this truck looks really cool and i think this was definitely one of the trucks worth doing i i knew down the line grave digger would probably get one and of course there is one coming out in mix eight but this is pretty cool i really like this so the inverse trucks i think it started with um higher education if i'm not too mistaken where the truck was all black and everything was reversed but for Mix 7, it is currently the Monster Mutt Dalmatian, and just like all the Mix 7 trucks, um, so far after reviewing all these and actually looking at them, I don't know about Alien Invasion. I think that one's eh. Earthshaker might be eh, but this one's definitely near the top here as you see the whole mix right there. And this thing, I can't actually wait to look at this thing. As you see in the package, this thing just looks cool. So this truck is pretty rare. I haven't really seen this one as much as the other ones such as Grave Digger, Megalodon, um, Earthshaker. Those ones are probably the easiest ones to find. And then I would say like the next tier trucks that are pretty hard to find would probably be Max D and Avenger. But I am starting to see more and more of Avenger. But the hardest ones definitely to find are Zombie and Horsepower. Those ones are pretty tough. But with that being said, let's crack this thing open and take a closer look at this inverse truck. All right, so this thing right out of the package basically pops. This might be one of my favorite trucks from this mix. This thing's pretty cool. So as you guys do know by now, it comes with the problem card, which will flash that on screen because, you know, problem card. And then we got the awesome poster. The poster does include Earthshaker on the back of it, and it does include Mix 8, which I cannot wait for Mix 8. Hopefully that gets released within a couple weeks from now and hopefully targets and you know what screw it I'm just gonna go to Kohl's because Kohl's always seems to have everything. So anyway, um, here we go with the inverse monster mutt Dalmatian. So really cool design. We've seen a lot of monster mutts this year and video problems once again. But anyway, so we've seen a lot of monster mutts this year and this one does come with a red action figure. Now, Monster Mutt is probably one of the most famous trucks on the circuit besides maybe Gravedigger and Max D and all them. So it is pretty cool that we keep seeing them come out and every one is different. This personally might be my favorite one. Now, I do like the ice version of the truck, but I don't know, this one looks really cool. So anyway, once you open it, you're gonna notice it has these red tires. It's got the black rims. And it's basically an inverse Dalmatian with a chrome chassis, which is really, really, really cool. So we're going to compare it here to the first and final version of Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Now, this one is from Mix 1, and it's the final version because it has the blue stones on the collar and also the whiskers and the pointed tongue. So basically, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, this thing's pretty cool as I'm just taking a closer look at it. So if you can just look at this here and see where it's all in verse, which is pretty, pretty cool. So basically everything white is black. Everything black is white. Everything red is black and everything red is black or black is red and blue is red. And yeah, you get the picture. <laughs> so pretty cool concept, pretty cool design. Now, I don't know. I actually kind of like this truck a lot better black like this. One thing they did not invert is the mouth, which I'm kind of happy they did, didn't, because I don't know how you would inverse that, like white gums and red teeth. That would look weird. So I'm really happy they didn't do that. I like what they did with the collar. They made the blue collar with the red uh, stones on it. The ears and the tail, which are basically white and black on the original truck. Um, I love how they didn't touch the name on the dog tag or anything like that and I also really do love how they did not make the tongue inverse because I don't know how they would have did that like a black tongue I like how they did the fre freckles or the whiskers they even made the whiskers uh, white which was pretty cool 
One thing they could have did, which I'm just noticing it, because they did do the eyebrows, they made basically the eyebrows white, and on the original truck it's black. Maybe they could have made the nose white, but then again, I don't know if that would have looked weird. Maybe it did, and that's why it's not white. But yeah, really, really cool design. Same exact casting. There is a what is it? variant to the mixed two, mixed three doubles of Monster Mutt Dalmatian, and it does have longer ears. But this seems to be this casting of the truck, which is pretty good. But yeah, really, really cool. I like this. I like this a lot. I like how they even add the added touch of the rims. So with the inverse trucks, this easily might be the best one, the best looking one. Um, obviously, we got to wait for Gravedigger to come out to see how that looks in person and all that. But this one may take the cake. I really like this one. I like the way this looks. Um, if you just show me that and you didn't tell me it was Monster Mutt Dalmatian, I uh, probably would have guessed it's a different truck. It honestly does not remind me i mean i know what it looks like but like you know your first thought is that's not monster mutt dalmatian at least to me but let me know what you guys think i think this thing's really cool i think this might take the cake for the best inverse truck of the year i think it looks amazing i really love the red tires i love how they um one thing i do like is they kept the roll cage and they kept the chassis the same because it would have been weird if they just inverse that which I don't think we've seen a chrome chassis or a chrome uh, roll cage this year. So that could have been cool, but I feel like that could have been too much. So I'm really happy Spin Master did not do that and they just basically left it chrome and black. But yeah, definitely one of my favorite trucks. Definitely a cool truck in this mix. Um, if you guys haven't gotten this already, I would say, wait. <laughs> I mean, I know it's on eBay for like 20 bucks or 25 bucks, but I would just wait a little bit. I know it's tempting, trust me, I know, but it's a really cool truck, definitely one of the best trucks in this mix, and definitely a truck that Spin Master took the time and they did it right, so, I mean, I'm guessing at this point, Monster Mutt Dalmatian is one of their, someone's favorite truck at Spin Master, because there is a ton of them, and I'm pretty sure we got a couple more coming on the way, too, I think we have one in the next double packs getting released, with uh, the BKT printing on the tires as well, but... I really like it. I enjoyed it. I really think this thing's going to be pretty cool looking. Um, definitely when it's in the racing series and everything. But yeah, can't wait to see what's next. And I can't wait to see what you guys put in the comments and what you guys like or what you don't like. And if you guys have this truck or you don't have this truck because this thing is pretty rare to find. But with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another truck from Mix 7.